What are you doing to make 2014 an incredibly prosperous year? Uh, Jim Fortin, Mind Authority Network, uh, had a very good video on treating your business like a business. Jeffrey Combs talks about this all the time. Um, if you are going to be successful in any kind of a work-from-home, business-from-the-comfort-of-your-home enterprise, a business that you run, that you are responsible for, that is going to give you the time and financial freedom to do what you want to do with your family, then you have to treat it like a business. We can absolutely, to uh, go back to Jim Rohn, work full-time earning our living while working part-time building our fortune and our future. It's absolutely possible, but you've got to treat it like a business. That means in the pockets of your time, you are maximizing your day. That's what I'm doing right now. My wife and I are driving somewhere, and I had this idea popped into my head that I wanted to share with you. So I had her turn on the phone and get it set up to record, and I'm sitting here recording a video to you, making the most of every minute of my day that I can. This is otherwise useless time that I just use for brainstorming and chit-chatting with my wife, and here I've got an idea to help you make some money to help me make some money. How are you treating your business like a business? That means maximizing every moment. That means when you're in the grocery store and you bump into somebody and they bring something up and that, it makes you think of a referral, you know, giver's gain. Uh, makes you think of somebody that, oh, hey, do you know so-and-so who? You're always networking. You're always looking. Your eye is always open. Now, more than that, treating your business like a business. Going to bed the same time every day. Getting up the same time every day. Having a routine. What are the, if you work out in the morning, great. What's your meal routine? What's your workout routine? What time are you making that 10-step commute from the bedroom to the boardroom to sit down at your office, at your desk, and start producing income? What time are you doing that? Do you have a space dedicated for those activities? Do you have a desk and a chair and a telephone and your computer set up and a clear workspace that's not cluttered with 50 things that you can use to produce the results that you're looking for for your life and for your family and for your future? Um, you have to have an environment that's conducive to that. It's very tough to do crammed in the corner of the dining room, which is my current situation. I'm crammed in the corner of the dining room, but you know what? I'm not going to be there for long. I know where I'm headed, I know what I want to do, and I'm developing and building the habits to get me there. And that's what I want to help you do through this video a little bit. What is your daily routine? If you had a 9-to-5 job, you get up, you show up, you try to be at the office five minutes early to make a good impression with the boss, you get settled into your desk, you check your voicemail, you check your email, and then you begin working on your list of the things that you've got to do. So what's your routine? Do you, is, does your business involve prospecting? Does your inv pro business involve sales calls? Does your business involve following up with existing clients? Create a routine where you do those same activities on the same days at the same time every week. Oh, well, you don't understand. I can't. My business this, my business that. Bull dinky. You need to find a way to make it work. You need to get in a routine because the millionaires that I know all talk about routine habits, doing the same things every day, over and over, that it's automatic. So it's not, is there anything this helps with if you're a procrastinator, if you struggle with procrastination, if you're recovering from procrastination, to quote Jeffrey Combs? One of the things you've got to learn how to do is get in a routine, because routine does is it takes away the choice. It takes away your ego's opportunity to say, ah, I don't really want to do that today, I think this is more important. No, you have a routine, you have a habit you're going to do the activities that you need to do to build your business, and that's what's going to take what you're doing that's been a hobby and turn it into something that's going to build you a fortune for your future. Leave any comments you have below the video. I will catch you guys on another take. You have a fantastic and prosperous day. Bye-bye.